What's up guys, my name is Abilio Gomez and welcome to our channel DDD Arts Painting and Tips. This is my first attempt to make a, a video in English, so I hope you have patience with me. So, to my first video in English, I want to show you guys how you paint... Aha! Look at that. Transparent resin or clear resin. I will show how you get a great effect in this kind of piece. This one is a pretty good shape still. Um, this is from the sculpture I will put in this side of here. No, this side of here. Is from real from Street Fight, and uh, something they really bother me. And when I search and browse for the sculpture to see to see all the art, there's a lot of the artists on the Instagram and the uh, internet in general. They paint this energy or magic with just one color. They drop something color in the resin. They put all this in one one color. And I don't like it, guys. I, I think it's too much. It's too much. It's, it's ugly. It's personal. Okay. It's, it's my my opinion. Okay. I. I I know you can do better and I will show you how to make a nice gradient color and this kind of piece. First thing, we need bring a need a paper towel over here so you can see better as well. As you can see over here is a little paint. I printed it about three months ago and uh, we should be very translucent but now it's very opaque. But with the time to finish this video uh, and this painting, I will gonna show how you make this kind of piece get shiny and translucent again. Well, we will need this some little cups. Some alcohol, as a proper alcohol, 91%. I have in mind this little bottle, it's called squeeze bottle, I'm not sure. Is to manager, manager, manager. And then we need this kind of the inks. Look, alcohol inks. I bought this set on Amazon. I will let the link uh, below in the description. And for this piece, I will use, uh, we're going to use turquoise, turquoise, clover, maybe clover, navy, maybe navy. Forget me, it's a nice color blue to use it. A violet, the violets. Decide we will we'll work with the six colors over here, five colors over here, okay? And then, then we're gonna get a, a, a little cup over here. Now, how are you gonna manage this? We always must start painting for the very thin end of the piece and then work our way down until the bottom or the stronger part of the piece. So, let's work with the four things, okay? Now, let's put one drop over here, and I'm gonna add some alcohol to see how it looks, how it looks. We're gonna do the same thing with this one here. Maybe forgive me. And walk all in. You can see it. blue, green, blue, okay, okay. Then, the violet. Beautiful color, beautiful color. Yeah. You can see here, I'm not measuring. Nothing is not too much. And this is just one coat, okay, guys. One top coat. Then we go make another one more stronger. I just make one to set the color. Then you make another one, the second coat. Now I'm gonna use this brush over here. I don't know if you can see, it, but this brush is very, very soft, but it's very large, so he can cover a bigger amount of space at once. Of course, I need to put the alcohol over here. And guys, don't worry because you will make a mess over here. So we get it. Let's get ready to paint. And remember, always start from the thinner tip to the end piece, and it will make you way down in the bottom. And yes, you're gonna make a mess. Let's go. Let's go to start off. And remember, just a little thin coat, and you already see how the color is already showing up. It's a kind of it's a kind of wash, if you will. We're gonna little. We're going to do a little blue. I don't even need to clean the brush between the colors. I just go to the wings like this. To the blue is going to help yes. blend the colors a well. Blue over here. Blue. Then I use a little more violet over here. You see? I make a little. Look at that. A little bit of the dark blue, the navy. We don't want to overpower it. And you make it movement, guys. Look at that. Back to the blue. A little of the dark here. A little more dark. Look at that. Look how nice it's going. Back to the violet over here. Oh. 
going to the blue, dark blue now. Look how nice it is, guys, already. a little more to mix with the blue look how nice oh look at that how nice it is okay. and put one just so you can mix with the blue look how nice it is just in the base over here look to so give it a little more power side then I wash it with the alcohol just the blend with the nave. Oh, nice. Look at that. Look at that nice, guys. That I'm talking about. You can see the piece already in your beauty. Now I will do the same with this one over here. A little more violet. Just a little touch, then I look alcohol in pass. Go down. Always move the piece, okay? Always move. Look how nice you are already. With a nice thin coat, you're gonna blend it with the alcohol mixer. Okay, how nice it is, guys. Remember they always to move the pieces around it to cover everything to make sure it's blended and it looks nice and natural. The second hand. Look how nice it is already. Alright, we're done. Let's make sure if it is dry once again and then we come back. Can you see it here is very, very, uh, uh, how you say, opaque. It's not colorful at that. Just let it dry. We'll let it dry over here. It's too much over here. We'll get a, another paper power. And here it is. Let's dry over here. Ah, I make a mess. There's okay, we don't need any more. Let this dry and then come back soon. So guys, my back over here is already dry, look at that. Now, to bring this back to the nice, shiny, translucent again, we can do two things. First of all, I use this kind of varnish, it's a top coat. I always use this. Should it be should it be nice if I have a, a gloss? But this is matte. I think it's matte. I don't know how pronunciation that matte. So I will use this to hold the pink, the ink. Then I want to bring it back the transparent shine and again. We can use a nice thin layer of clear resin. So let's put here a little bit in the, the scotch and we use this little tiny brush they come with the resin it's nice soft so now is the secret you are past the resin now you're going to remove all the excess over here into the paper towel all the excess remove it very well and we will start apply like we did in the, with the paint with the ink with the tip all around until the bottom and make sure it's a little thin layer the brush have to be just a very wet. You know, you don't want nothing dripping. The brush should be just wet. Nothing without reason. Make sure you enter all details. Very sweat. Nothing hush. Look at the transparent up here. Okay, let you use now NASA UV lights. Make sure it's hard. I'll move this piece around it to get everything on the part. 
And remember, use a mask for this, guys, please. Mask and gloves, okay? I'm not using gloves, but use your gloves. Don't be a jerk like me. Alright, you see how it looks already? We didn't use the UV light. Alright, let's go in. The end right there. And we can do this technique with any kind of resin you let shine in again. With any piece. With any kind of piece. There it is. Alright, that is done. Done, done, done. We finish here. Let's go in one more time with the UV. And hard this to throw it, to throw it properly. Alright. New paper towel so I can properly show how beautiful this piece looks like. Looks look guys. Look at that. Look how beautiful, how shiny, how colorful. Now when I make it your pieces and the energy or light or flashes, that's what they're gonna do. Look absolutely awesome. Alright guys, this is the video for today. I hope you these little tips help to the journey of your painting. I see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and more importantly, please share this video for this channel continue to grow and I can show you more tips and techniques and more of my pieces along the way for you guys. All right, I will leave you here inside the softbox of the reel. So thank you so much and see you next time.